we already have, we're already in a terrific place now uh, with our uh, so-called direct acting antivirals that allow us freedom from interferon uh, and, and the possibility of all oral regimens producing high rates of, of cure. But we can do better. We can do better because, uh, because these regimens in general uh, work principally on genotype 1 infection, the, the dominant infection uh, worldwide. Uh, but there are six major genotypes uh, in, in total. Uh, uh, those all oral regimens uh, have not necessarily uh, reached uh, out to be equally efficacious uh, among several of those. So the hope then with these uh, forthcoming regimens is to make them increasingly what we call pangenotypic, that is to say active against all genotypes, one through six. Um, this will, uh, in, in fact, have the net effect of, of making uh, treatment much more straightforward, uh, particularly in resource-limited settings, uh, as in low- and middle-income countries, where genotype testing is not uh, entirely straightforward uh, to, uh, to obtain. Direct acting antivirals, this is a term that we've recently become accustomed to because of course years ago we treated hepatitis C with injectable interferon and a pill called ribavirin. Well these direct acting antivirals or DAAs as we call them are really revolutionizing the treatment of hepatitis C. These are pills, no shots, they tend to have very few if any side effects and they target different parts of the virus, so it actually stops the virus from replicating or making new viruses. And in so doing, we can extinguish virus in most people in eight to 12 weeks. Now, there are some patients we treat a little bit longer, particularly those who have cirrhosis. We can Im imagine the construction of regimens that would, be, uh, that would be not only highly efficacious, but active against uh, all genotypes. We have just in the past two, three months, new regimens on the market that are all oral DAA regimens. But the, the greatest thing about this field is it's moving so quickly. So over the next two, three years, we're gonna have several other regimens that come to market that are considered the next generation of drugs. In other words, we think they're gonna be better than what's out there today. And what's out there today is already curing over 90% of people. So we want to get it to 100% for every patient type and that's the promise of these new generation direct acting antivirals. A further advantage potentially of combining those, those, uh, those uh, regimens uh, and those classes would be uh, to potentially allow for shortening of regimens from the current 12 weeks of therapy uh, to even imagining eight weeks or less. So the reality uh, that we could envision is one in which uh, patients can achieve cure regardless of their genotype not be necessarily be tested for them, uh, tolerate the regimens extremely well as they do now with high rates of cure um, and, uh, and with a shorter duration of, of a treatment than we're currently um, managing patients with today.